Hello, this is Brian again. <sighs> I still can't find the trail. Had to do a class three boulder and hog lop for boulder slash log hop to get over here. And now I was gonna try to go down to see if I could find the trail. Then I decided to that it just ended up cropping out at a huge uh, boulder, boulder and gully. So now I'm bushwhacking on the ridge Honestly, I don't know how this is going to work out. This is turning out to be a complete bushwhack right now, up here. But see, it keeps cropping out in these gullies, these real bouldery gullies. So, I have completely, utterly lost the trail. So it is starting to get to the point where I'm thinking about bailing out again. I just don't know where the trail is. Of course, bailing out means I'm just going to have to go back the same way I came. I don't see any trail. Any trail whatsoever over here. None. Absolutely no trail. So... Honestly, I don't know if I can recommend this if you're, unless you're a, unless you're a mountaineer, and you're really serious about getting up to this peak. It just, to me, it just looks. I just don't know where the freaking trail is. It's very sketchy, very sketchy over here, very steep and very sketchy. And like I said, I cannot find any trace of the trail anymore. So no matter where I go, I just can't seem to see it. God, this is crazy. So now I'm climbing down class three along this cliff here. Or not a cliff, but rock outcropping. Again, no trace of a trail anywhere around here. I don't know why so this trail is so hard to find. It's very it's kind of frustrating actually. The difficulty level of where I am right now. I don't know. It's not supposed to be a difficult trail, but I'm not on the trail, so the difficulty level here is at least as hard as it was on the other side from Eaton Saddle. The difficulty level has gotten to that. Now I'm just hiking along this cross country completely. If I don't find the trail soon, I am going to cancel the rest of this outing. Well, not the rest of this specific hike. I just can't seem to catch any pathway or anything along here. And I'm even looking further down into the gullies, I can't seem to find any traces of a trail. You know, I'm looking down, looking sideways, looking around everywhere, and there's just no trail. Maybe, maybe the trail disappeared, but I've seen people's hiking videos of this area, so there's a trail. Just where the heck is it? Right now, I'm just doing a cross-country class two and higher scramble along the ridge just like the last time from the Eaton Saddle 
then it, I get to a spot, I have to find a way to maneuver around it. You have to grab onto tree branches to keep your balance. So. There's some type of a path up here. There's something over here on this ledge. So I mean, this isn't bad. This is good exercise. I'll tell you that. It's very good exercise. And it's nice, cool, and shady over here. But see what I mean? It's very sketchy. Very sketchy over here. Alright. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get back up. I'm gonna try to see if I can side hill it till I get to that porch by the yucca. That might be where I can access the trail. So I think I see it again. Ooh, California laurel. I don't know what happened. All I know is that I found, I think I found the trail again. The trail is extremely easy to lose once you get past the helipad. So, my way back, I just gotta try to follow this as closely as possible. I'm kind of glad. I was like, I really want to get to this peak, but I don't want to bust my head and injure myself like that one time. Thankfully, it wasn't a severe injury, but not that I want to get injured in the first place. So, like I said, very steep and very precarious. So, just watch your step. You're going to be looking down at the ground a lot. Thankfully, there are quite a few trees that you could probably wrap your arm around if need be. Hopefully I'll have a better time on the way back. Just, I got to a rocky outcropping and the trail just seemed to disappear. I didn't see it going around the upside or the downside. Alright. I'm glad to be back on the trail. All right, I'm not worried about getting lost here. I mean, I'm not worried about getting lost. It's just I don't want to end up uh, falling or end up having to do a really nasty bushwhack. And I already had to do a little bit of that today. trail looks like it just keeps falling its way downhill. Actually this would be a good uh, good trail to duck. <laughs> especially when uh, especially when you get up to that crazy spot over there. This trail seems to be doing a lot more downhill than uphill. But yeah, you can see, it looks like you could bail out to Mount Wilson Road, but as you can see, right there is the edge of probably a very steep uh, rock outcropping. So bailing out down to Mount Wilson Road is probably almost, almost, if not always, a bad idea. It's very steep. It's probably probably easier to climb up it than go down it because of how steep it is and how rocky it is but I mean I see a possible way down there but again you have to have very good footing over here Now 
this trail seems to do a lot more downhill than uphill. It'll be all uphill and mostly uphill on the way back probably. Except for at the, the end. Okay, this is where we're gonna have to pay attention over here too. See? You get these little little rocks that come out in the middle of the trail and then then it kinda gets hard to see the trail. But here again it continues over here. But again, it seems like we're predominantly going downhill. I'll tell you one thing, scrambling up the hill. Scrambling up and down to try to find the trail will definitely increase your workout. Can be kind of frustrating, but it's good because it's exercise. Now let's see. If the trail continues on past here, looks like it does. This is where it's going to get tricky again. See all these rocks here? Let's see. This is definitely like the other side of Occidental Peak. Again, all the, the rocks and stuff make the trail seem to disappear. A little rock duck? Good. Honestly, this is a trail that could definitely use ducking. Because it's kind of tricky to follow. See, I don't know if I'm supposed to go up this way or I'm supposed to go this way. Let's see. See what I mean? Hmm. Oh boy. The trail might actually have gone up that way. So now I'm starting to get into a uh, near road edge. Oh boy. I think I lost the trail again. Yep, I lost the trail again. I think. Pretty sure I did. Oh, boy. This is a pain in the butt sometimes. Might be up there. I'm gonna have to try some some class two scrambling again. All right, let's see. I think I see it. The trail took the high road this time. For the most part, the trail seems to be taking the low road over here. Wow. Oh boy. Alright. There's a rock duck over there. Oh good. Yeah. It would have led me down that way. Then I've had to find another spot to scramble up. 
had to do a little class three to get up that. Use the rocks to pull me up. But thankfully, that little rock duck right there. Alright. Looks like it continues up this way. Oh boy. Definitely getting a workout from this little hike. Call it the little big hike. Or the big little hike. Alright. Another duck right there. I might consider placing a couple of small ones on the way back as well just to help uh, future hikers of this trail Hang on for a lot of trees around here. It's a nice cool day. But also, thank God I got something to grab onto. Some of these sketchier spots are quite quite interesting. We're gonna come up to another uh, miniature gully. But looks like the trail stays above it. Here we go. Well, I don't know if that would be a good bailout. It doesn't crop out as much, but I guarantee you it's slippery as heck. So, probably wouldn't be a really good place to bail out. Well, I'm going to continue on. I'll see you on the next clip.